<laughs> uh, how drunk am I? I don't know. <laughs> I feel elated. Okay. Um. Give me a moment. I'll show you a clip. Uh, play, rewind. Go on, go back. Right there. Concentrate on the story. Akuchi Moya. We are far from the sacred places of our grandfathers. We are far from the bones of our people. But perhaps there is one powerful being who will embrace this woman and give her the answers she seeks. And on that note, I would like to say, Q! <laughs> That's all I really had to say. Anything else would be gratuitous, unintelligible intellectually for both some viewers and myself. Hold on. I'm not drunk enough. No, totally not drunk enough. <sighs> Ooh. That's a spicy meets a ball. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> Keep well hydrated when you get drunk. Know your limit. Don't go past it. <clears throat> I would like to add, additionally, I believe Q was watching the whole time and was like, hmm. Well, since you put it so politely in your request for such aid, maybe I'll help. But not right now. Only when you really need it. And just like with Jean-Luc Picard, through the entire Next Generation series, he pushed buttons and nudged mindsets push everyone on Voyager in the right direction to grow beyond their original biological, psychological, and spiritual parameters. Yep, I'm being gratuitous now. And slightly unintelligible. So with that being said, If, if you want to think about it for yourself, go and either purchase on DVD or Blu-ray, whichever is available, the, the series of whichever Star Trek series you want to watch for yourself. Whether it's relevant or not. Or, or watch it on some sort of streaming service, if you like. That way you can have a frame of reference for what's going on. Or if you've already watched it, <clears throat> feel free <laughs> to throw in <coughs> your own spin on Q's interactions either regarding that prayer from Chicote or not. But from my perspective, as much as I've watched the Next Generation Enterprise, Voyager, I have yet to acquire Deep Space Nine. I would love to do so, but it's like $300, which I don't have. 
segue to Patreon and PayPal. Links in the description. Shield the shovel. Full of mindless whimsy. Also, I'll be using that money to get severely drunk and do dumb, whimsical, nonsensical bullshit just like this, if not more. Maybe you enjoy, maybe you don't. Who the fuck knows? I don't. Unless you let me know. But anyway, feel free to leave comments about what you think. Your hypothesis, your theories, your th explorative thought processes on the situation and scenarios regarding Q posing as a a god to humanity in the Star Trek universe in order to nudge them and push them beyond their limits and become better beings or Maybe you think he's just having a, a fucking shit and a giggle over it. Who the fuck knows? I most certainly don't, unless you let me know. Yeah, that's it. Till next time. Toodles. Woo. Six minutes worth of... Yeah, six minutes and I'm done. Fuck the algorithm. I'll cut it here.